Hey, it's Coolio. If you don't know, we're playing Engine, the second attack. Let's go! Yeah, it really wasn't that hard to get through that pusher puzzle from last time. It's just a couple of modifications in the path, and uh, I was able to get through. What's the plan doing a place like this? And say pretty much the same thing for any other plan in this place. It's like. There's plenty of monsters here. You'd think that all of these plants would have been destroyed. But no, they seem to keep well care of their plants and uh Yeah. Get some items. Get on our way here. Eh, there we go. Hmm. I have a feeling that we're getting through we're getting close to something pretty important here. Oh, look at that. It's another of those crystalline orbs. Or eyes or whatever. So, now we have two eyes, so I assume that that's enough eyes to actually have an effect, because most living beings have two eyes. And that's a bit of incredible logic there, but it checks out, and if you check most encyclopedias, you'll see that uh, things do have, in fact, two eyes. Alright, so let's get through this. Kill this stupid fidgety sandworm jerk. Grrr. 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 Okay, enough of that. Um, I don't think we can go there yet. Okay, and the door is locked with the symbol of you again. Yes, that's right, you again. Um, so obviously we need to find the symbol of you again. And I'm back outside. What is the difference between this door and that door, anyway? There really doesn't seem to be much of a difference at all. What happens if I bomb these doors? Nothing. Shoot the doors. Nothing at all. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I know what to do. Remember that uh, little dude that couldn't see anything. Yeah, what the hell is this? Oh, is that ring we were looking for? I just... Wow. I guess it was right there. It's... That's friggin' swell. Okay. But yeah, remember that dude with uh, the inability to see? Well, I assume he was unable to see because he didn't have any eyes. And just so happens that now we have two of them. So maybe we can go and give him those eyes and he'll be able to see and direct us to wherever we need to go. It makes sense, doesn't it? it makes Megazoop sense, anyway. Huh. Now we just need to find this dude again. And of course, I think I'm going backwards here. Of course, uh, the Dookie Incorporated games are quite well... What's with these? We have the plants who say ni. Okay. Ni. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, these Dookie Incorporated games are uh, 
They feature very large maps sometimes, and it's kind of hard to get your way across and end up where you need to be. Like, for instance, I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. The only thing at the end of that corridor was the second crystalline eye. While I have nothing to say in particular, I would like to say to everybody everywhere who uses the, the current Gregorian calendar, Happy New Month because it is currently August and it's August 1st so the valley in the southwest corner of the map holds an important secret but I need to acquire lots of special items for the secret to manifest okay valley to the southwest I assume that is the same place as the programmer's house lot of platforms you need to get through. Hmm. Oh, well, I could just do a platform puzzle like last time. I don't know. It's just a suggestion, of course, but it uh, makes perfect sense to me, and uh, I'm sure if you consider it for a moment, it'll make sense to you. Oh my goodness. Um... Where is it that I need to go? There it is. We have some eyes now, and uh, maybe you can use them. Uh, give us an explosion that leads us to a mirror, and it's plated with gold, and it's a planet on the edge of oblivion. Alright, so we have a mirror. Maybe we can use it on the mirrors on the walls. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Uh-huh. Mirror you have is reacting. Whoa! Dark side. Holy frig. So that's what the mirrors are for. Now we're able to access the dark parts of the tower. And hopefully find the seal of Yugen. So that we may proceed further into this uh, tower of mystery, intrigue, suspense, and partial nudity. Whoa! Now we got some action going on here. Plant, do it again. Why would I want to? That's kind of disturbing, honestly. Plant telling you to do it again. I would personally rather not. Okay, that's where the platforms lead to. Unfortunately, we don't have a uh, cane warrior dragoon with us, so. That's not gonna work out in our favor. We won't be able to just jump across them like they were yesterday's weather. I'll say I don't know. I'm just feeling really hyper today, and uh, I guess that's a good thing. Well, I hope it's a good thing. If it's not a good thing, just let me know, and uh, I'll try to be a little less hyper. And uh, next time on Let's Play Deal or No Deal. I say, do it in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the code last time was up, down, right, left. Well, let's try left, right. No, it press it twice. Left, right, down, up, yeah. Left, right. Left. It's not blinking. Up. Right. Left. Down. Up. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, right on. So now, Dan is at power level 2. But it still doesn't matter because we have Brian that's automatically at power level 5. And the HP 500, thus completely obscuring. I mean, uh, oh, what's the word? Um. I can't think of it. Uh, yeah, that's enough uh, for this video. Next time on Let's Play Engine, the second attack, we keep looking inside mirrors and uh, try to figure out where to go in this tower. I'm Coolio, if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.